What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver Warm Through. Okay, so it is finally time to go straight into the Pokemon League. And as many of you guys already know, yes, I did some off screen training. Yes, managed to get that. And yes, Rainbow Chicken is going to be with us because, well, yeah, I, I, I want to. Togepi is going to have to wait until the next. Well, it's, he's gonna have to wait until the Johto region because, uh, or the the Kanto region, mainly because, well, you know, that's where everything starts picking up and all that crud. So, let's go right ahead and take care of business right here. Everything's been bought, and we're gonna talk to this guy. He's gonna be like, once you enter this door, you will be facing one of the Elite Four. They are really tough. You cannot exit uh, once you enter. Are you ready? Be courageous and go for it. And, uh, well... The good thing is that we actually stocked up on a lot of uh, healing items, and uh, what else did we do? Oh yes, we had a lot of uh, a lot of items that we actually got throughout the the walkthrough. They will actually boost up our attack and everything else. Our mom bought us, uh, you know, some sashes and all that stuff. So we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be fine. I hope so. Probably. I don't know. We'll find out. So, here we go with the first challenger. His name, uh, well, he's gonna be like, Welcome to the Pokemon League. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all over the world, making my Psychic-type Pokemon powerful. And, at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only get, uh, I, I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Will. And this guy right here, you know... He's got himself his psychic type Pokemon, and he's gonna look very, very prissy while he's doing it. And he's gonna be coming out with his Zatu. So, let's go right ahead and go with a discharge. Now, the cool thing about the cool thing about this is that, you know, I actually gave the the what was it called? Uh, the quick claw to Fluff Fluff Bolt in this situation right here, because yeah, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be facing quite a few things right here. Holy crap, fast Pokemon and all that stuff. And here this guy comes out with Jinx, so let's go straight for Cinder now. The reason why I have Rainbow Chicken with us is because, you know, that's for a little insurance and all that crud. So here comes Jinx. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and go with a Flamethrower attack right here. Throughout the whole, you know, training of these Pokemon, we have learned quite a few moves. Very, very good moves and all that stuff. And, well, look at this. Flamethrower does it for the win. Cinder defeat or Jinx defeated. Wow, oh, can't even speak right now. And that's a lot of points right there. Here comes a slow bro, so we're gonna be going back to our good old Oh wow. What did I do? Oh crap baskets. We did not oh well not entirely a bad thing. Okay, so we're going with Dark Side, even though this is probably gonna be a huge mistake. So let's go straight for a scr a crunch attack. And that right there is uh, way too much, so yeah, I didn't do that, but here is the Focus Sash. We actually gave it the Focus Sash just in case for this situation. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch. And there we go, we are confused, so let's go with a Discharge. And there we go. Discharge does its thing. And there goes Slowbro. Yep. Alrighty, alrighty, okay, so there we go. More points for our Pokemon, Dark Side getting points too. Executor is going to be coming out, so let's go straight for Cinder right here. Alrighty, let's go. Cinder, time to do it. Time to do it, time to do it. Alright, so here comes Executor right here. And we're gonna go straight for a flamethrower attack. Finish it. Finish it! And that right there will finish up Executor. Alrighty, okay. So yes, we we've been throwing everything. We've been throwing everything, and that gives us a lot of points. And here comes it. Uh, here comes Will's final Pokemon, Zatu. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Here we have Fluffle yet again taking the lead, and Zatu's looking at us. He's like, "We psychics don't give up, even when our, we're down to our last Pokemon. That's what makes us formidable." Okay, Discharge attack, and unfortunately, we're gonna be confused again. But guess what? Yes, Discharge. Alrighty, for the win, and yes. Will has been defeated. Yes, believe that. Even though I was defeated, I won't change my course. I will continue battling until I stand above all trainers. Now move on and experience the true ferocity of the Elite Four. Okay. 
Now, we're going to have to heal up our Pokemon right here. So, good thing is that we brought ourselves a quite a few full restores. You know, sold most of our stuff. So, what we're going to do right now is going to heal up our Pokemon real quick. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, let's get going and let's see what the next trainer is going to be. Again, I'm still trying to get used to this whole controller thing right here. And, well, would you look at that? It's him. <laughs> I am Koga of the Elite Four. I live in the shadows. Ninja. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion. Sleep. Poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister techniques. <laughs> Pokemon are not merely about brute force. You shall soon see enough. And, well, here we go. Taking on Koga. If you guys don't remember, this guy used to be a gym leader. And look at that. He just appears. Man, I wish I was a ninja too. Okay, let's go with Cinder. And let's take care of business right here. Let's go straight for a flamethrower attack. Alrighty, flamethrower attack does its trick. Look at that. Say goodbye. Say good freaking bye. Ariados has been defeated. Okay. And, well, here comes a Fortress. So we're going to stay put, put with right here with uh, Cinder, mainly because Fortress is a quad damage because it's Steel and Bug type Pokemon. So here we go. Let's go with the quad damage. And just like that, Fortress has been defeated. Alrighty, okay, alright. We're doing our thing. And look at this, Cinder grows to level 47. And well, here comes a Muck. So, let's go right ahead. Hmm. You know what, let's go with Rainbow Chicken because it does have a Psychic type move. Alrighty. Here it is, Rainbow Chicken. How's it going? All right, Muck, time to feel the burn. And yes, we are exerting our pressure towards this Pokemon. And here comes an extra sensory attack. And just like, oh wow, it survived. So yeah, Gunk Shot, this is new. So here comes a Gunk Shot. I'm only assuming this has uh, some super ability or something like that. And this is gonna take quite a few and this Okay, so he's going to be healing up himself, so let's go ahead and speed this up. And it missed. Okay, so it's going to heal up his Pokemon, and... Come on, finish it. Finish it. Oh, wow. We're about to lose. Damn it, come on. There we go. Okay. Rainbow Chicken, seriously, we're trying to get used to you, and you're still not giving me anything. So here we go, coming up with a Crobat. Let's go with Flood Bolt. And again, it's a good thing that we actually gave it... Uh, What's it called again? The 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 uh, quick claw just for this situation. All right, Crobat, how's it going? Time to feel the discharge, and here comes a double team. And here comes the double team, or no, no, not the double team, but here comes the discharge. Hopefully for the win. Come on, finish it, and there we go. Crobat is no more. Okay, alrighty. Look at this, level 43. Flufffold kicking some butt, taking some names. Alrighty, so here comes Venomoth. So let's see. Let's go. Let's go with this guy right here. Let's go with Cinder. All right, Cinder, time to do your thing. So Cinder, looking pretty strong, looking pretty uh, uh athletic, and well, Venomoth looking at four, level 41 right here. So let's go straight for a flamethrower attack, and here we go. Alrighty. Okay. Look at this. Look at this, and there you go. Venomoth has been defeated. Okay. And, well, Koga is like, ah, you've proven your worth. Yes, we have. I subjected to you, uh, to you everything I could muster, but my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Go on to the next room and put your abilities to the test. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, let's get this going. And the next challenger on our list happens to be a veteran himself. Yes, Bruno. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. I always train to the extreme because I believe in our potential. That is what how we become strong. Can you can you withstand our power? Hmm. I see no fear in you. You look determined. Perfect for battle. Ready, Draven? You will bow down to our overwhelming power. Hoo ha! And, it, well, here we go. We're going to be taking on uh, Homeboy right here. Bruno, looking muscular as always. And 
Well, he's going to be coming out with his hitmon on top in, in, in addition to everything that he's gotten. But the good thing is that we have Aerial Ace, and well, look at that quick attack. Oh my god. Okay, so that defense is not that good, but guess what? Aerial Ace. Let's go for the win. Come on, finish him off. Well, he hits him. And yes, we have equipped our Hercules with the Shell Bell just in case something happens. And here comes another quick attack. And well, that right there doesn't really do much, but still, you know, HP. We, we could use more of the HP. And here comes Hitmon Tops. Finish. There we go. And look at that. Look at that. Okay, so we're getting some more points right there. Experience points. And well, here comes Hitmon Lee. So let's go right ahead and go with, with Robot Chicken, or Rainbow Chicken, I should say. Rainbow Chicken. Okay, so there is something pretty cool that I've actually equipped a Rainbow Chicken with. That happens to be... Let's go right ahead and take a look. So if you guys take a look at our summon right here, we did give it the Muscle Band. If you guys don't know, the Muscle Band enhances... Actually enhances one physical attack. And the good thing is that we got a Fly Technique. It's physical, and the Rainbow Chicken is a very, very physical Pokemon. Fortunately, it hit me with a lot of special attacks right there, so yes. Strategy by Draven. And, well, look at this. Oh, my God. Say goodbye to him only. Okay. All righty. So, we're kicking some butt, taking some names. And here comes an Onyx. Let's go right ahead and switch it out to Nessie. See what Nessie can do right here. All righty. Okay. Let's go. Let's get it. All right. Onyx, you're looking pretty mean. But let's go straight for a waterfall attack right here. And just like that. Yes, okay. Come on, finish it, finish it. And there you go, Onyx has been defeated. Feeling good about that. Oh yes, 900 points. And here comes a Hitmon Chance. So let's go right ahead and switch it out back to Rainbow Chicken. That's right, Rainbow Chicken. Love naming that Pokemon, Rainbow Chicken. Why, because it looks like a Rainbow Chicken. So here we go. Hitmon Chan looking mean as always, and well, let's go straight for a physical attack yet again. Alrighty, so we're flying, and well, coming with a Thunder Punch, that's not gonna happen. Here we go, fly attack for the win, and just like that, Hitmon Chan has been defeated. Okay, alrighty, look at that, and well, here he comes out with a Machamp, so we're gonna stay put. We're going to sweep this guy. How is this guy third on the list of the Elite Four? But as hard as you can till you faint. Okay. So here we go. We're going to go again with another fly attack. And let's see what this guy can do. Well, yep. He came with the rock slide. He knew that was going to hit us. And oh my lord. That takes out. Oh, that almost takes out Rainbow Chicken. So here we go. Fly attack for the win. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. Go all the way down. And just like that, we defeat Machamp. I always knew that was going to do something. And, well, there we go. Rainbow Chicken grows to level 46. And, well, Bruno has been defeated. He's like, why? How could I lose? Well, because you kind of suck. Anywho, having lost, I have no right to say anything. Go face your next challenge. Hmm. True. Pretty true. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, let's get this going. Let's go to the last of the Elite Four. This one happens to be, from what I've seen, I get this granddaughter, I think, or daughter, I don't know. I'm Karen of the Elite Four. You're Draven. How oh, amusing. I love dark type Pokemon. I'm known for my overwhelming or overpowering tactics. Think you can take them? Just trying to entertain me. Let's go. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Karen. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Karen. Daughter? Granddaughter of uh, Agatha? Could be wrong. Comment down below. So here we have Hercules ready to go against Ombreon. And, well, we're going to go with the close combat right here. And just like that. Oh, my God. The physicality continues. Say goodbye to Ombreon. With a little bit of a price of, you know, the defensive goal. Uh, like, you know, let go and all that stuff. And, well, here we go. More experience points. And here comes a Murkrow. That right there is a problem. So we gotta make sure to gotta make sure to just uh just right here. So here we go. Fluff Bolt. Murkrow. How's it going? And well, 
Let's go straight for a discharge, but this guy right here, or this chick right here is going to be going with a faint attack. And, oh my god, nearly defeats us. So here we go, discharge attack for the win. And, come on. There we go. Say goodbye to Murkrow. Alrighty. So that's another Pokemon down. And who's next? Houndoom is coming up. So let's go straight for Nessie right here. Alrighty, let's go. Nessie, how's it going? It's been a while. Houndoom looking pretty mean right here. And we're going to go with the Rain Dance. And oh my god. That hits us. So this is going to lower its... Uh, Lower its power just a little bit. So here we go. Nasty plot and waterfall attack. With a little bit of a boost on both ends. And there we go. Handoom has been defeated. Okay. Alrighty. And, well, the rain continues. I think. Yes. Uh, let's see. There's a vile plume. So let's go right ahead and continue on right here. Because uh, if I switch to a fire type Pokemon, that's not going to work. So let's go straight for the ice beam attack right here. And here we go, Ice Beam, doing his trick. Come on, finish it off, finish it off. And there you go, Vile Plume, defeated. Okay, alrighty, look at that. And, well, the rain is continuing. And the next Pokemon on our list is a Gengar, so let's go right ahead and switch out. Let's go straight to Dark Side. I haven't used this guy in, uh, well, ever, and, well, I think I have. So here's Dark Side, looking pretty mean. And Gengar is ready to go this far from being backed into a corner. And, well, let's go straight for a crunch attack. And here comes a Focus Blast. That hits us. Wow. Okay, so... Hmm. Okay. I see I see where this is going. We're going to big up the big guns. You know, Robot or Rainbow Chicken. Why do I keep on saying Robot Chicken? So here we go. Focus Blast hits us. Not so bad. And here goes an Extra Sensory. And, well, let's see what happens. Oh, that nearly defeats Gengar. And he's like, you're no ordinary trainer to have gotten this far. No, I'm not. Let's go with a Sacred Fire. And there we go. Sacred Fire for the win. And just like that, we have defeated Elite Four Karen. And she's like, well, aren't you good? Yes, we are a trainer. We are him. Yes. Strong Pokemon. Weak Pokemon. That is only the selfish perception of people. Truly skilled trainers should try to win with the Pokemon they love best. I like your style. You understand the, what's important. Go on into, go on, the champion is waiting. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna heal up our Pokemon and we're gonna finish off with this champion thing right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here it is guys. We're gonna be going into the next challenge and that is the champion of the Pokemon League and well as you guys can see Yeah, here we are Inside the quarters now there is something that I haven't done and this could be useful for us Okay, so let me see something. Let me see something right here because we are still with the quick claw Our speed is ridiculous Um. Okay, so you know, you know, okay, so it doesn't have an item. How in the hell does it not have an item? Holy crud. Let's see, Focus Sash. Oh, wow. I think I lost the Focus Sash. Holy crud. Okay, so no more Focus Sash. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. What happened? What happened? Okay, you know what? Let's go right ahead and give this guy the the rock stone let's give that to him and now that I realize something okay there are two rare candies that I still have and I probably should just give it to let's see hold on just a sec let's see uh, not that let's give this all right let's go ahead and give these two rare candies to dark side because it's going to be needing it for this one battle right here so there we go level 44 that should help us just a little bit and well let's see what happens right here here's Lance and he's gonna be like I've been waiting for you Draven I knew that you with your skills would eventually reach me here there's no need for words now we will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us 
as the most powerful trainer and as the Pokemon League champion. I, Lance, the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. Okay. So here it is, guys. We're facing Lance. This guy right here is, uh, he is scary good when it comes to being a little underleveled. As you guys can see, he has himself a level 46 Gyarados, and I got myself Flub Bolt. So let's go right ahead and go with a Discharge Attack. And, well, we're going to go physical right here. Hopefully it gets paralyzed, but it doesn't get paralyzed. Here comes a Discharge, and this one will finish off Gyarados. Alrighty. And here comes a Garrett, or here comes a Dragon Knight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with Nessie. We're gonna speed this up just a tad. And as you guys can see, this guy is at level 50, meaning that is Lance's strongest Pokemon. And this one finishes off Dragon Knight for the win. There we go. And this get this gets Nessie to level 45. So this is pretty good right here. And well, here comes an Aerodactyl. So we have to hit this Pokemon real quick. And Aerodactyl is exerting pressure, so we're going to have to get it with the Ice Beam attack. And here comes its Rock Slide. And that right there hits us pretty hard. And hopefully this... It nearly beats this guy, holy crud. Okay, so he's going to heal his Pokemon. And that right there eliminates the problem, because I had a problem with this guy at the beginning. So here comes another Dragonite. So that's three Pokemon. And because of that pressure, we have lost quite a few, quite a few, uh, what was it called, uh, Ice Beam attacks right there. So here we go, Ice Beam for the win, level 49 Dragonite. And just like that, Dragonite has been defeated. Okay, so he's got one more, plus a Charizard, so we're gonna keep it right here. Holy crud, Nessie is about to sweep everybody. Okay, let's go. And Dragon Rush has missed. Okay, so <laughs> we've been lucky right there. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. Look at this. Dragonite is not liking this. And there we go. Critical hit. <laughs> Look at that. It's a sweep. It's a sweep, and you are no longer protected. Okay. You know what? We're going to keep Nessie. Yeah, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna be doing something right here. He's like, all right, I thought this would never happen. Let's go. Waterfall attack, and well, here comes a fire fang. Crap baskets on a crapsicle stick, and that defeats Nessie. Okay, so I got a little too big for my britches. Let's go with our buddy, Dark Side. All right, here we go. Rock slide, and here comes a dragon claw. Hopefully, this, well, this level boost right here will, you know, give Dark. Okay, there we go. So here we go, Rock Slide for the win. And there we go, Dark Side wins. Look at that, and Dark Side gets himself some experience points. I am throwing out that peace sign. It's over, but it's an odd feeling. I'm not angry that I lost. In fact, I'm feeling happy. Happy that I witnessed the rise of a new champion. That's right, Batman acknowledges us right here. Whew. You have become truly powerful, Draven. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. Hmm. And well, look at it, look what look, look, look what happens right here. Oh no, it's all over. Professor Oak, if you aren't so slow, hey, you leave him alone, man. Come on, he's like in his 60s or something. Ah, Draven, it's been a long while. You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the league is just fantastic. Your dedication, trust, and love for your Pokemon made this happen. Your Pokemon were outstanding too. Because they believed in you as a trainer, they persevered. Congratulations, Draven. Let's interview the brand new champion. Uh, this is getting uh, to be a bit too noisy. Draven, would you come, or could you come with me? Yes, I will. Mary is not happy about this, and she's going to be like, Oh, wait, we haven't talked or done our interview. Okay. Alrighty, so look at this, guys. Wow. This is fantastic, especially with great graphics right here. It's been a long time since I last uh, came here. This is where we commemorate the League Champions for all eternity. There are courageous Pokemon are also inducted. Here today, we witness the rise of a new League Champion. A trainer who, uh, who feels compassion for and trust towards all Pokemon. A trainer who succeeded through perseverance and determination. The new league champion is, ha 
the new league champion who has all the makings of greatness. Draven, allow me to register you and your poke and your partners as champions. And well, look at that. For the second week in a row, we have become Pokemon League champions. Oh my god, and well, look at this. Fluffolt. Level 43. That's right. Level 43. And then here we have our good old buddy, Hercules. Finally, Pokemon League champion. That's right. And well, look at this guy, Pubitar. Or Darkseid. Level 44. Mm hmm. Yeah, you know what? The red candies actually worked. And well, look at this. The MVP of this whole episode, Nessie. Level 45, kicking some butt, taking some names and all that crud. And well, who's next? Yes, Cinder. Oh, yes. At level 47. That's right. Alrighty, alrighty. And then here we have Rainbow Chicken. That's right, guys. I named this Pokemon Rainbow Chicken. Sue me. And it, it actually came in handy. I'm very, very thankful about that. So there it is, guys. The Pokemon League champions. Deal with it. Acknowledge me. Alrighty. And, well, WrestleMania starts tomorrow, so <laughs> keep that in mind. This is no promotional thing, but, you know, just... If you guys want to watch WrestleMania, yeah, go ahead. Anywho! Yes, we're saving the game. We're doing our thing. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, so let's see. We have saved the game. And, well, dialogue time. Again, for the second week in a row. So, anywho, guys, we have completed the first half of this game, this walkthrough. And, uh, yes, we will be completing this game, okay? I know that, you know, a year ago, a year or two, maybe three years ago, I started the initial Heart Gold and never finished it. We will be finishing this whole thing, okay? We're going to be going through gym leaders and all that stuff, like if it was candy. And we're going to get to the rest of the stuff, which is, you know, the legendary Pokemon. The roaming Pokemon, Suicune, and the extra legendary Pokemon that they showcase right here. Now... I do have something cooking for another remake game. Hopefully we will uh, get it out or get it done or not get it done, but hopefully we will like, you know, record a, a, a buttload of it because, you know, my schedule is going to get a little too busy. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm again, guys, I'm having fun with all this stuff right here. Um, I just realized something. Okay, so yeah, we are going to be finishing up this game and how we're going to be finishing it up. It's obvious right here. We've already done Pokemon Fire Red, uh, Pokemon Emeralds right there too. Yes, we will be using some of those Pokemon to take on Red once we get down to it. Because, well, shoot, we kind of need to finish uh, Wonkers and all that stuff. I have mentioned that we will be starting up Pokemon Platinum pretty soon here. And thanks to the speed button, that thing will be finished pretty quickly. It will. Trust me. Look at that. It took us three months to finish this, huh? It did. Anywho, like I said, guys, I am having fun with all this stuff, and, you know, the daily episodes has been working. It's been showing on my uh, my page, and I, and I just want to say thank you to every single one of you guys for paying attention, for watching, for supporting and all that stuff, for commenting, and le letting me know the rights and the wrongs of these games. Obviously, I'm not paying too much attention to the games more because, you know, I got a lot of important stuff in my life. So just playing these games and then having to read your guys' comments, you know, with the help and all that stuff, it's very much appreciated. So thank you guys again for, for all the help, all the support. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys next week for another episode of quite possibly Pokemon Emerald and Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver. So thank you guys. I'll see you guys next time.